Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are discussing the EV related company XL Fleet. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we are discussing XL Fleet, which is a company that is working on the electrification of commercial fleet vehicles. Now, this company did just recently become publicly traded via a reverse merger with a SPAC company. So we're going to take a look at the details of that, plus what their stock has done since and what one analyst predicts for their future, as well as what this company does. And just before we get into all of that, this is just your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out some of the great links we have in our description, especially if you like free stocks, as right now Webull is giving away four free stocks for signing up and funding a new investment account. So make sure to check them out. All right, now taking a look at the XL Fleet stock. They trade under the ticker XL and are currently at about $20.81 as of today's after hours. Now this company just went public back on December 22nd after a reverse merger with a SPAC company. They merged with Pivotal Investment Corporation and through the reverse merger received about $350 million in proceeds, which of course will be used to further fund their electrification goals. As the company just recently became publicly traded, we currently only have one analyst rating on them, but it does come in as a buy and their price target is $30 per share, which would be about a 44% potential upside over this next year. And on our TipRank's smart score, they score a nine for an outperform rating. And this is based on that analyst rating, but also bullish blogger opinions, very positive TipRank investor sentiment, and very bullish news sentiment as well. Now their stock price has definitely cooled off a bit from some of those highs right around that SPAC merger date. But that is something that we are commonly seeing post SPAC merger. So I don't think anything to be widely alarmed about and could actually represent possibly a better entry price. And of course, we know there is nothing but growing demand in the EV market. So let's take a closer look at what exactly XL Fleet does. So XL Fleet offers a comprehensive suite of fleet electrification solutions to accelerate your EV transformation. Their vision is to be the world leader in fleet electrification and accelerate fleet electrification through cost-effective, customer-tailored, and comprehensive solutions. Now, instead of creating new electric vehicles, XL Fleet works on electrifying existing commercial vehicles like small trucks and works alongside companies like Ford, Chevrolet, and GMC. Their suite of electrification solutions includes XL Hybrid, which delivers a 25% MPG increase and a 20% reduction in CO2 emissions for class two to six fleets, which is available on major OEM platforms, including Ford, Chevy, and GM, plus their XL Plugin, which is a system that installs seamlessly onto Ford F-150 and Ford F-250 pickup trucks, delivering a 50% MPG increase and a 33% reduction reduction in CO2 emissions. Performance meets sustainability. XL Fleet actually has over a decade of experience. They have over 200 fleet customers with over 3,000 vehicles on the road and over 130 million miles driven. They have over 220 million in their 12 month sales pipeline and have seen three times revenue growth in 2020 alone. So they are leading the transition to fleet electrification with over two and a half million plus gallons of fuel saved and 25,000 metric tons of CO2 reduced. Their global total addressable market is over $1 trillion with 1 million vehicles sold annually in North America alone and experiencing dramatic demand for more sustainable solutions. Plus, their established production can scale to 100,000 units annually, and XL's capital-efficient operating model is ready to scale and drive profitability. They are uniquely positioned to deliver on electrification as a service and turbocharge growth as the market evolves. 
The XL fleet is well positioned to electrify a large multi-segmented market, and the fragmentation of commercial vehicle market creates many long-term opportunities. Now they have existing applications from class two to class six vehicles, which includes everything from pickup trucks to school buses, step vans, and even bucket trucks. And they're currently working on future development to include those class seven to eight, which would include transit buses, garbage trucks, and even semi-tractors. Now I know many of us are big fans of other EV companies such as Hylion, Workhorse, and Lordstown, but it is interesting to see this comparison of how XL Fleet stands up against them as they do boast a strong lead in projected cumulative units sold with over nine models available and announced and well over thousand per year in established production in the future along with their customer base. Currently in the city of Seattle, they have 27 HEV ambulances and vans, mostly deployed at their Seattle departments, which helps support their Drive Clean Seattle initiative. They also have 110 HEV transit and F 250 pickups for Washington State's largest utility of Puget Sound Energy, as well as 550 HEV last mile delivery transit and E350 step vans used for daily mail delivery. And these are being deployed all across the country with a network of qualified production partners who have already produced over 100,000 commercial vehicles per year. So they're able to meet demand in the US and Canada with rapid scale with minimum capital expense. In summary, they have a massive market opportunity with accelerating adoption and a long runway for growth and are becoming a trusted name in fleet electrification with strong customer validation and an extensive blue chip customer base with a significant expansion opportunities. So this is another one of those exciting companies that instead of starting at ground zero with brand new electric vehicles, they are helping customers change over their current vehicles for a lower cost. And we know as the world is moving more and more towards electric vehicles, this is a really important option to have, especially for those big commercial fleets where it would obviously cost them a ton of money to fully replace every single one of those vehicles. So just one more exciting EV related company to keep an eye on. And I'll definitely be intrigued to see if as time goes on, some more analysts jump in with ratings and what their outlook is for this XL stock. Now you guys know I love hearing from you. So be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of XL fleet and what other EV related companies are catching your eye lately? Keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes and to maybe bring some new companies to your attention, but any investment decision needs to be made based on your own research and due diligence. If you made it all the way to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and cheers.